Wake Up Nigeria is all about the healthy living and lifestyle. And we have in the building Adida Mola Ladejobi. She's a certified personal nutritionist and weight loss expert. She is the founder and CEO of Ask Dams, a weight loss management health and wellness company. Today, she's going to be talking to us about nutrition and healthy lifestyle. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Now, if you are the picture of healthy living, I want to look like this picture all the time. <laughs> Uh, she looks stunning, doesn't she? Thank you so much. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Okay, so now, healthy living, we hear about it all the time. We talk about it a lot. But it feels like it, it could be easier, mm. you know, maybe if we were to, able to break it down into areas that we should focus on. Can you help with that? Yes, I sure can. And it's really not as difficult as people think it is. Um, there are three major aspects which a lot of us need to get right. And one is our nutrition. Okay. The other part is being physically active. And the other part is rest and stress management. So mm. um, I'll take it one by one. I'll try to take it one by one. But there's a lot to say on, on these three um, different aspects. But when it comes to nutrition, what it is is that a lot of us would rather spend money on eating junk. Okay. A lot of us think that healthy living or healthy eating has to do with eating just imported food. Mm. But apparently, not just apparently, actually, <laughs> actually, in reality, what it is is that we have to just make attempts to eat whole foods. So when I say whole foods, in terms of um, things that grow from the ground, so plants from the ground as opposed to things being made in a factory. Okay, okay. In fact, these days, there's so many ways to healthify our so-called street food and um, the regular snacks that we I eat. that word, healthy fight. Yes, I call it healthy fight. <laughs> healthy fight so that, you know, it, um, it's of nutritional benefit to you. And what you put in on the inside is what shows up on the outside. Mm -hmm. So I get a lot, a, lot, a lot of people telling me or asking me, ask times, what cream do you use or mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. soap do you use? And I try mm -hmm. to tell them, look, this is not about a cream or a soap. It's actually about what you put in. That's what you get out because you can spend thousands of dollars or naira on, you know, your lotion or whatever it is, but it just wouldn't come out on the surface if you're not eating right. Mm. So healthy nutrition, your micronutrients and your macronutrients. Let me not get too scientific about this. Okay, for those okay. who may be wondering <laughs> that, okay, isn't that too techy? Um, so your macronutrients are the nutrients that you should be eating in huge quantities. So okay. your carbohydrates, your proteins, and your fats. Okay. By the way, fat is not bad. They're good fats and they're bad, bad fats. fats. Yes. Mm. Um, and then your micronutrients are like your vitamin A, your vitamin B, C, D, and then you have your trace minerals and other, others like iron, potassium, magnesium, and all of that. Mm. That is nutrition mm. on one angle. Mm. And then you also have being physically active. Mm. So I just currently launched an app. Okay. Um, it's called the Ask Dams app. It's available mm -hmm. on Android and iOS. And this is not to advertise the app, by the way. <laughs> but a lot of people think that you need to be in a gym to be active or to stay healthy. You actually do not need a gym mm -hmm. to be healthy. Mm -hmm. But if you're a gym freak, by all means, please go to the gym. Mm -hmm. But not all of us can do that. So what I thought to myself was that, okay, what can we do to make the average man on the streets healthy? Not, not everybody can get a Fitbit. Yeah. And so the Ask Dams app is actually the very first app in Africa that you can actually download and track your steps with because so in other words if you have um, you know your phone your mobile yes. phone as you're walking along the road exactly phone, it tracks your steps and it tracks your the amount of calories that you're burning also okay but that's another thing so I don't like people thinking of activity in terms of oh I just ate um, maybe a meat pie that's 400 calories I need to burn burn 400 calories no if you live like that you're going to constantly be in fear of food and that's not what we want mm -hmm. you know that's not what that, that, that's not how it should be. Um, you should think of exercise as God's gift to your body, being active, because some people can't walk. They really wish they could. Some people yeah. can't, can't some come have in these issues with their Exactly, feet, their all sorts of things. So mm -hmm. exercise is not punishment. It's something that you should literally wake up in the morning and, and thank God for, as far as I'm concerned. Um, so the app does this. There are different ways. Even little things as much as sweeping your house, mopping, and all of that they're stuff. They're all activities. Helps. Yes, they're all activities. But Dancing. Then, but you did mention stress management. Yes, now, I, I was going to touch on that. I want to go there, especially with regard to cleaning your home and okay. the, the normal activities you do every day. So, for instance, in my office, maybe my office is on the third floor. 
and I have to carry documents from first floor to third floor like four or five times a day because my boss just tells me to. Um, some people would think of that as exercise, but a lot of people would think of that as adding to their stress. What do you say to this? <laughs> so it all depends. So everything has to be, it's a combination of all these uh, three um, different aspects that I spoke about. Mm. So just imagine someone who hasn't had up to maybe six hours of sleep. Mm on a particular day or seven. In fact, mm. the average Nigerian, I hear some people sleep three hours a day. I'm like, really? Mm. If you're giving that kind of person um, a huge set of files and telling the person to walk up and down the staircase, yeah. that's punishment. Okay. That's no more. Yes, they will be you know, burning calories and they will be moving and they will be active, which is good for them, but it's stress because they haven't slept. Okay. So that's another angle. That's, that's a major, in fact, for me, I always tell people, sleeping and rest your mental health is even more important than trying to burn it or kill it kill okay. the calories or burn the fat in the gym or whatever activity you want to do okay we should be getting a minimum of seven to eight hours of sleep wow. per day wow and majority of us are not getting that and here's the thing the more stressed out you are the harder it is to lose weight so a lot of mm. people ask me but i don't see you in the gym how come you were able to lose 40 kg i've lost up to 40 kg and i've maintained this for six years i don't see you in the gym how did you do this and i told them look i may not be in the gym but i'm very active mm. i like to dance even though some people say i can't dance that's fine <laughs> <laughs> that's fine dancing is fun <laughs> yes dancing is fun and i have two kids so mm. I'm, I'm constantly up and down playing with them and stuff like that and when it comes to doing like basic chores, I'm always happy to do that because for me, I know that I'm not in the gym, but guess what? These things actually help to de-stress us and I don't play with my sleep. I okay. don't joke with my sleep. In fact, on a day where I get less than seven hours of sleep, mm. my cravings are all over the place. You and start eating more. Yes, because there are two hormones that are responsible for appetite regulation. One is ghrelin and the other one is leptin. Okay. Now, when you get enough sleep, your body produces leptin. Okay. That means less hunger. Oh. But when you don't get enough sleep, you, have, you produce more ghrelin than leptin. Mm -hmm. And ghrelin is literally going to tell your body, your brain, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, even wow. when you're not hungry. So you find people constantly binging, constantly eating. So in other words, if you don't get enough sleep, yes. you're going to want to eat more. You're going to crave so more. So even if you're more. going to the gym, yeah. you're still going to end up eating the wrong things and not yeah. burn as much because you're not getting enough sleep. Yep. That's right. Goodness me. Another thing is that I mentioned two hormones now. <laughs> oh, I have to stop you there, I'm afraid. <laughs> I have to stop you. Okay. But um, I, I really would like you to come back. You know I what? Will, I will. Okay, let, I sure let's will. just take the final hormone. Let's okay. take the final hormone. Let's, let's talk okay, about Okay, so the food. final hormone is yeah. cortisol. Cortisol is a okay. stress hormone. Okay. And every time we are extremely stressed out, our body produces more cortisol. Mm -hmm. It slows down your metabolism. It makes it harder for you to lose weight. Oh. It makes it harder for you to keep up with a healthy lifestyle. So all these things mm -hmm. are very, very important. Mm -hmm. Everything fused together is what we need to cultivate a healthy lifestyle. Mm -hmm. I have a lot more to say, but like you said, let you, me stop so yes. I don't just go on. So, but you will come back, please. I will on. definitely be back. Okay, so the hashtag <laughs> Ask Dams, uh, please just go online and ask any questions you have uh, of her and we'll see if we can answer some of them next time when she comes in. Yes. Use our hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC as well. Thank you so much for coming to the studio. Thank you. My absolute pleasure. Thank you so much All for right. having me.